The main concept to keep in mind on this tutorial is every time you hit Command D to place a document, you are not actually placing your photo into the document, you're placing a linked preview. Okay, everything in InDesign is based on links. So I'm gonna go to File and Open and in Chapter 4, Folder 10 is Links Panel Features. Really, really important. I did this on purpose, but right when I go to open the file, InDesign is checking it out immediately. It says, hey man, you got three missing links and you got one that's actually just modified. Well, I'm gonna say don't update the links, okay? I wanna show you what's happening here. So I have my links panel. If you don't see it, it's usually up here with layers and pages or you go to window and links. And if it is up here, I would suggest you tear it out. And I'm gonna pull this bottom edge down right here, this little thin line, so I can see the entire list of photos. Okay, it said I had three missing links. So right there is a question mark. Where is Attila 2? Where is Skifel 1? Where is Vlad 2? But this one has an exclamation point. It's saying we've modified it. Okay, the difference between those two is file names. This file called Attila 2, I put it in this file a while ago, saved my file, put Skifel 1, saved my file. Then I went back to my desktop and started changing the names of the files. Like I said in a few tutorials before, once you put in a photo, don't go back and start changing file names and locations. You're just gonna screw up all the links like we've done here. Okay, this little one has an exclamation point. It's telling me I didn't change the name, but I went into Photoshop and changed the image. I modified the image, but I didn't change the file name itself. Okay, you're also, since I only have one sheet of paper, all of these photos are on page one, but right down here it says PB, and that means pasteboard, okay? I will not see anything outside the page because I hit W for preview. So if I hit W again, there's an image of this Viking woman way out here on the pasteboard. If I hit W again, we can't even see her, but InDesign knows she's there. So when I click PB, it's telling me there's a photo here. I can't see it. So when I hit W, there she is, okay? I'm gonna hit W again. Let's look at the main page here first. And it says, we are missing Attila one. Well, if you don't know who these characters are, click on the little link for one. And there it highlights this big photo. Okay, if I zoom in, look how pixelated that photo is. Look at his horn on his helmet, it looks terrible. Okay. InDesign is looking out on my desktop and trying to find a file called Attila 2. Let's see why it can't find it. I'm gonna double click the missing icon right here. Double click. I'll go out to chapter four, folder 10, and notice what I renamed the file. Attila the Hun. When I put it in here a while ago, it was called Attila 2. It's still looking for a file called Attila 2. That file doesn't exist anymore, okay? I erased the number two and I typed in the hun. So don't change your file names. I'll click open. Now he looks nice and crisp and clean. I don't have a missing link for Attila the hun anymore because I updated it, see? Now it's Attila the hun. The file names have to match. Skifel 1, I don't even know who that is, so I'll click on the number 1. Okay, it's this Viking dude over here. Uh, he's missing, so let's zoom in. Let's see, is he really missing? Yeah, he's looking pretty choppy and pixelated right there. Not looking too great. So I'm going to double-click the uh, 
question mark. It's asking me to find Skiffel 1, and I erased the number 1. Even one letter off. Your file names will get all screwed up. So now he's just Skiffel. There's only one of them anyway. So when I first put him in as Skiffel 1, I changed my mind later and said, well, why did I type 1? That doesn't even make sense. Okay, he's just Skiffel. So I'll open him up, watch the price graphic. Now it updates. He looks nice and clean. I'll click on this number one for Vlad. This is big guy way back here. Let me zoom in on him. He's all pixelated to heck. I'll double click. Where's Vlad? Oh, I renamed him again. Vlad, who is Vlad? Vlad the Impaler. I changed my file names. Don't keep doing that. I did it on purpose to show you what happens, but I don't recommend you do it. So now when I click open, he's going to look nice and clean right there. Command zero fits the page on the screen. Option click with my magnifying tool. We'll zoom out and I will hit W for preview. So I can see what's on the pasteboard. Let's zoom in or click on PB. So now we can focus on this photo. It doesn't say it's missing, it says it's modified. So again, the difference is I put in a photo called Svedun 3 and I didn't change the file name, I changed the coloring. So it's just saying, hey, you still got the same name but you updated the photo. So I'm just gonna click right here. That doesn't do anything. So let's hover over it and see what it says. Double click to update. And she comes in with a little bit more pinkish skin tone. She also looks a lot more crisp and clean. Even though when I hit W, she's not part of my layout anyway. So that is the idea, is constantly be checking your links, constantly be checking at the bottom with your pre-flight panel. You always want to keep that green light. Once you get red, you got to fix those errors, okay? A lot of your errors are going to happen on your links panel, and that's how you fix links. Be aware of your links panel. It's going to save your life.